it's time to take a look at one of the most unorthodox, influential, and creative fighters in history, Dominic Cruz. The man is a living legend who's influenced several prominent fighters with his advanced footwork. But like all great fighters, Cruz's advanced techniques are built off of the basics. While Cruz does use some truly bizarre footwork at times, what makes him really innovative is his ability to blend common techniques together seamlessly in a way that creates crazy patterns and angles. Cruz will blend and intertwine the fundamental footwork patterns of many different styles together, all in the span of a few seconds. Fighting this way requires mastery of nearly all angles and multiple stances. So Cruz is very effective with either foot forward, in an orthodox or southpaw position. He's able to fluidly and easily switch between the two, as well as transition to a more neutral squared up stance that aids with lateral movement. By occasionally squaring up and putting himself nearly perpendicular to his opponents, he can easily shift across the center line with either stance. One of the main ways the Cruz moves between these positions is the V-shift. The V-shift was covered extensively in my Willie Pep video, and that makes sense as Cruz has credited Pep as a major inspiration. The move involves stepping both feet together and then stepping out with the opposite foot to switch from orthodox to southpaw or vice versa. This movement is highly useful from a defensive standpoint, as it allows Cruz to escape an attack and exit off an entirely different angle from an entirely new stance, often providing an opportunity to counter at the same time. Cruz, like Pep before him, loves to use the V-shift to escape from an opponent who's trying to corner him, and often leaves a parting gift as well. He'll use this technique in conjunction with several others to pester his opponent from either side of the center line. As mentioned before, Cruz's opponents have to worry about attacks from so many angles. It's almost like they're defending against several different fighters, tag teaming into the fight mid-combination. While going to the outside, he'll occasionally move in deep towards his opponent. Much like Lomachenko, I was actually pretty shocked when I signed up for Dominic Cruz's footwork course and he emailed my video on this technique that Lomachenko uses to his students. So, a bit of a boast, but also proof that he sees his technique as the same one that Lomachenko uses. Cruz more often uses the outside angle as a threat, feinting an outside attack to prompt his opponent to turn inside. He's essentially hurting his opponent, encouraging them to turn themselves into his power side attacks. While going to the inside, Cruz prefers cross-stepping into a flicker jab. Just like another fighter he's credited with influencing him substantially, Muhammad Ali. But Cruz doesn't always take the same path on the inside. He'll also square up with his opponent and rely on quick feet and head movement to keep him safe. Often centerline shifting out of his attacks, like Mike Tyson. Cruz has explained that he spends a lot of time thinking up and practicing these sequences beforehand. Just as all fighters drill basic sequences for training, these footwork patterns make Cruz's transitions appear effortless and add an element of major unpredictability. A major reason many fighters don't work stance switching into their repertoire is that it can be highly telegraphic and creates more openings for attacks. One of the reasons Cruz is able to take so many risks is his unorthodox head movement. But another reason is that Cruz gives special attention to making his entries non-telegraphic. It's less to do with how he enters, but the work he does beforehand to disguise his intentions. Cruz makes use of rhythmic preparatory motions in conjunction with foot feints to dull his opponent's reflexes and mask his attacks. Cruz gets his opponents used to certain patterns and then enters with multiple different kinds of attacks off those same patterns. These movements are meant to lull Cruz's competitors into complacency, therefore easing entry into an exchange. One of the most common preparatory motions in every form of combat sports is the pendulum step, which Cruz modifies heavily by bringing his lead foot behind his back foot. This allows him to quickly spring forward off of either foot. As a general rule, 
The closer a fighter's feet are together, the more freedom of movement they have. In the same vein, crews will even walk forward rather than step in the usual manner. The modified pendulum step also blends well with the V-shift, but works equally well to prepare a switch shift. Cruise uses the switch shift in much the same way as the V-shift, disguising setups for kicks and knees. Cruise peppers in foot feints on top of these patterns, sometimes setting up his attacks with four or five fakeouts. He'll also use these to draw out attacks by presenting himself as an easy target. Sometimes, he'll need to show the same pattern to his opponent multiple times before they take the bait. Here he presents an opening three times before it draws out the punch. He then counters with a hard uppercut. Testing his entries beforehand is also a great way to gauge his opponent's reactions and get his distance and timing down for next time. Again, he's able to save himself from these inferior positions through his bizarre head movement. Here Cruz once again leaves himself open three times before he gets the reaction he's looking for. Having squared himself up, Cruz feints moving side to side, then lands a throwaway hook that's really meant to pin his opponent's arm. Having cleared away his opponent's defense, he can easily pin his head to his hip, change angles, and drive him to the floor. When Cruz does get into an exchange, he has an incredible ability to stay with his opponent and continue punishing them no matter which escape route they've chosen. At the same time, Cruz also has the ability to exit an exchange from nearly any angle, leaving his opponent in an awkward position as he does so. A healthy dose of leg kicks and feints encourage his opponents to backpedal when he enters. and Cruz usually has the space to lateral shuffle or even run out of his attacks. This has, many times, made opponents reckless as they chase after him, giving Cruz the opportunity to quickly change direction, stopping short and rebounding off of his last step. Before we wrap up, a word of caution if you're thinking of trying out some of Cruz's techniques. Because much of Cruz's footwork puts him in positions where he fundamentally lacks structure, his punches can also lack power, no matter how wide or looping the shots. These unstable positions can also mean that if he gets caught, it's especially devastating. It's also an open-ended question if Cruz's techniques started not working as well because he was aging, or if the sport of MMA has evolved to a point where his techniques were just no longer consistently reliable. Just keep in mind that every style has its strengths and its weaknesses. And there's no denying the impact and the legacy that Dominic Cruz will leave behind when he does decide to retire. And the great contributions he's made to the relatively young sport of mixed martial arts. If you'd like to learn some of these tricks and tactics for yourself, you can check out my books on footwork, power, and defense, linked below. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.